Tuli here. Today, we raise the ghost of Karl Marx. You remember Karl. Here he is, beautiful young man at the age of about 21, I believe, at the University of Bonn. More mature, moved to England. Moved to England because no one would let him live any other place. Victorian England took in refugees from Germany. Trying to earn a living in England, not so easy for Carl. Ankles helped him out. He and Engels both played the guitar. And they even sang bawdy songs. The songs that we would uh, consider quite innocent today. Carl, a year before he died, died of some lung condition, smoked too much, drank too much, bad boy. <laughs> I think I wrote this about 1967. It's called Karl Marx in Heaven. Karl! Karl! I call you through the centuries. What? 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 what, what? It's me, Karl Tooley, one of your semi-admirers. I'm calling from the U.S. Spring of 1994. See, I was wrong. Heard the latest news about the Soviet Union? What? What, what Soviet Union? Oh, you've been out of touch a long time, Carl. There was a revolution in Russia. Oh, yes. I predicted it would be in uh, Germany, but the Russia is good. No, no, it wasn't so good. But why? What's happened? Well, it was a sort of like state capitalism instead of real good communism. Oh, those putzes. The fun opportunity I had in the 20th century, nine? Yeah, the one opportunity they fucked it up. How did that happen? Wait, uh, uh, how, uh, this is how, wait a while, just who's talking now? Well, listen, I, you know, I always said I wasn't a Marxist. Shouldn't a sweet pass on Marxist? Those epigonies, those runts, those morons, ugh. You know, I didn't like people too much except my own family. I. You know, I send my daughters to finishing school. They too, too, too bad. They finished themselves off, you know. Both of them killed themselves. But you know, easy come, easy go. Well, at least I had it. At least my illegitimate son did okay. Oh yeah? Well, how come you didn't acknowledge him when he was still around? Well, you know, it was Victorian times. I lived in Victorian England. He turned out to be a straight, forward-looking, working-class man, yeah. So how's England doing? For violence do, my English kin. Uh, England's all fucked up, too. The Labour Party hasn't been able to do very much. Uh, tell me, do you see Angles? Yeah, I see Angles, yeah. He is still a big dumb cop, like he always was. No, I really liked Angles, except when he ran around with that cheap Irish broad. Uh, well, you know, Carl, we don't say cheap Irish broad anymore. Carl, that's considered a sexist remark. Why didn't you like her? You're not a middle-class prick, a prick at heart, are you? Are you, Carl? No, no, I believe in the true culturella revolution. 
Oh, yeah? Then how come you took Engel's money to support yourself? Oh, I couldn't stand working for that railway express. I worked there one day, one day, that was enough. I hate working. Work is the curse of the drinking classes. Did you ever hear that? I made that up. I uh, know, so uh, how do you spend your time now? Well, you know, I drink schnapps, I read the papers. Only the papers here, they're 50 years old. I don't know what happens, we're getting World War One, no, no, two. How many world wars are there? How many worlds is there left? Oh, we don't know. Everything is going to hell here down on Earth. Oh, yeah. It always was terrible, but, uh, you know, we had our ups and downs. Well, Carl, what do you think is going to happen in the future? How the fuck should I know? All my predictions were wrong, all of them. But I'll tell you one thing, capitalism will end. Maybe not until the human race ends, but I still have high hopes. High hopes? High? I didn't know you. Yeah, you know there was a lot of, you didn't know that we had hashish in those days, did you? It came from France. It's a French connection. Oh, yeah. And do you ever miss the British Museum? Yeah, the British Museum. All the Elgin, Mar Elgin, Elgin marbles, which they stole so nice from the Greeks. Yeah. I always loved all that classical shit, you know. And up here, it's pretty boring. You, you, can, you can't have a revolution in heaven, you know. It's not allowed. They send you straight to hell. I'm getting bored. I think, you know, I think we got to go underground, on the sky, here. And one of these days, you know, I predicted according to my research, you know, we got a copy of all the videos ever made in the whole world here. And we got the highest electronic computers, and I can put my finger on any fact I want. And I'm using this, I'm writing a book here called Anti-Capital. And once this thing, once this thing is finished, I'm going to launch it in heaven and we're going to take over. But don't tell God I told you this. Uh, oh, uh, Carl, do you have a publisher? Fucking publishers. Fucking publishers. Bye, Carl. See you later.